All right. Welcome back to Defense Like a Jedi, where the Jedi Master barely knows what he's talking about. But I'll admit that and tell you everything I know. So here's what I'm doing this week. Um, what do I got here? YouTube open? All right. So uh, what I'm going to try, and I don't know why it wouldn't work. I've never done this before. But I am not healing my barbarian... Uh, 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 casualties because I'm going to wait for power increase day. Maybe you guys are smart and have been doing this for years, but uh, I know some people will wait to heal SVS for power increase day, but uh, this way I can do it the week of uh, the uh, SVS. I don't know if that made sense. Like, I'm doing it during the SVS by doing the barbs, whereas the week after SVS is just whatever kingdom challenge you guys have your server challenge anywho so that's a little bit of a tip there um other thing i wanted to do live with you i don't know if this is exciting for you guys or not it's exciting for me uh people are asking where some of my booth boosts are coming from but uh here are my uh generals you know we did these orbs last week all it gives you is uh the minus eight ground troop defense and hp for each subsidy, but um, and you only need to take them to the the uh, orange level. Uh, where am I going here? Oh, I can cap off this guy's specialty. So right now he's providing 18% range troop and siege attack debuff, along with enemy range troop defense and HP, another 12 and 12. So that's pretty darn good. I'm going to take him up to the next level. And, uh, of course, I'm going to use these first. Slide that over. See if we get a 2x. There's one. Did not get one there. That's disappointing. There's two, three, four. So we got four out of five. And last time I checked, that's 80%. And I don't think I usually do that well. But uh, I'll take four out of five. Let's put it that way. So now I can uh, go ahead and... Oh, do I do one more? I see that there's one stone left. Forget that. I'm just going to take that off and go the uh, learn all route. So right now we were at, what was it, 18 and 12. We'll get another 12 and 8 and 8. So that'll be 30% on the top and 20 for the enemy range troop defense and 20 for the HP on the enemy range troop defense. Uh, so here we go. All right, I'm blabbering. Sorry, I don't have anything written down today either. So 124,000 gems. Probably, I think it's like 160 if I started from scratch. And I'm gonna say 8,500 rune stones from memory. We're just gonna go ahead and do this, and now I can move on to my next general. So the next general I wanted to do. Should we celebrate a little bit? At least look and, and read the stats. There you go. 30% range troop and siege attack debuff. And then 20 for the range, defense, and HP. Um, something else I've been doing with my sub-generals, or starting to do, is that this guy, is his name Narcisse? Narcissist? He could run for president. Um, so this guy is a ground troop general, or a pretty good ground troop debuff general, rather. Um, so I just scavenged some gear that I'm not using for anything else that has some decent ground troop buffs and then th my theory is at some point i'll throw them on a subsidy when i know ground is coming at me or say somebody's just hitting everybody with ground um and i can port next to him i can throw this sucker on and uh take something else off so that's all i'm doing there nothing too exciting um my next general that i would buff up i don't think this guy's specialties are any good yeah, nothing special. Um, what I did get, though, is I did get uh, several copies of this guy. Um, I do like him. So I have 181, and I would need 90 for this level. I need one more to take him to four stars, if my math is correct, because I'll need three copies for a three-star and four copies for the four star, that's seven copies, and that would be twenty one hundred 
so I, I'm one copy short. Um, so lucky for me, I don't know if that's lucky, but the uh, the general token I'm trying to buy and open to get my last general for uh, um, the general hall has him in it, and I think Mark Anthony, uh, and I've been getting copies of them, so uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's Baldwin or this guy. I can't remember who's in that pack. So um, I can take this guy up to one red star. Sorry, my, my show isn't very great today. Um, a little all over the place. I don't have anything written down, like I said, so I'm just scatterbraining it. Um, and I have enough copies to take him to a fourth star. Um, I know you don't see one there, but I have one that I can break down that I'm really not using. He's kind of a backup. Um, I have no problem breaking this guy down. So should we do that now? Let's take a look. So I think I'm kind of ready to do that now. Let's at least do this one now. Double check. I got three copies. All right. This is good YouTube, huh? You guys get to wait through the painful parts with me. You can hear my computer thinking in the background, running all my farms. All right, let's do one more here. All right, so what did we gain from that? So now I have three copies. I need one more copy to get them up to the next star. And from that, we gained uh, enemy ground and mounted troop 20% for HP uh, debuff. And then also you get the death 5 or 8, 10%. I really don't know how much that helps. It sounds good. I still can kill all my sub troops pretty easily. I'm good at that. Uh, this guy, I think we could take to the next level. Should we just do it? We're here. I mean, my other things to contemplate would be the Senate. But I don't think you get as much bang for the buck. I like my Senate, my red stars, you know. So if I took this guy up... Um, I like in-city range troop HP, and it really doesn't take uh, much blood of errors to get that in-city siege machine defense. So I, what I'll do is I'll just... Do you guys ever get in here and you can't see your generals? It's very frustrating. What you have to do when that happens is you have to go back to your generals and take it off subsidies and just put it on, like, all. Or you could do it to military. But we'll just leave it on all. And now you go back in your Senate and you can see that you have way more qualified generals than they told you. Right? Um, I'm going to put idle on so I can... I don't know if that'll work. No, it still doesn't get rid of the ones that are already on duty. Uh, but I can throw Elsie in there. You know, so... I don't, I don't attack too much with ground. So I could also throw my siege general on there. I'll we'll definitely need to put Sherman on there. Oh, no. What did I do here? That's frustrating. Sherman's over there. So why was he even an option for me? <laughs> why is he on the screen if he's a commander? Uh, oh, yeah. He's not honoring my idol. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, so I could do Edward Teach. And you can see what they give you. They give you uh, in-city mounted troop HP, in-city range troop defense. Um, I don't care... Well, marching siege, I guess I'll take it, but uh, it doesn't help if my siege general is busy and I gain marching siege attack. Uh, In-city troop defense and siege machine attack for the final one. That's that's pretty good. But again, if I'm attacking with siege, he cannot be on. So, so I've got some stars done. Uh, I could finish this one to get an extra mounted troop, but that's a lot of blood of errors. Um, really not that far along to be spending that on there. Um and uh, I, I'm just not crazy about buffing up my in-city range troop defense. I just, I'd rather have mounted and ground troop for my city. Well, that didn't take long. That means I've been recording for about 10 minutes already. All right, so we're back in here, back into the Senate. And uh, just looking at the other slots. So I don't have any red stars on these guys. I could easily get ground troop HP right there. Um, maybe that's what I'll do when I when I finish up my last subsidy, but I just wanted to kind of show you the only other real options I have. Um, my mounted troop general is polygenius, however you pronounce it, and I need, I think I need one copy. 
maybe two. I need five copies. That is three and a half copies. So I need two copies of him or, or one and a half copies. I needed one more week of him to be in the, um, trial of nights. So if we go to trial of nights, I'm skipping all over on you guys, but if you go to trial of nights, um, you'll see that they did change up the generals and everybody seems to be creaming over this guy here, Marcus Agrippa. So I'm going to try to get copies of him uh, just because everybody's like, holy crap. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get enough to send them. I probably have two or three copies of them already, um, but nobody else is really crazy about any of the others. I, I was hoping... Um, a sub general is going to be in here because I was watching a video and somebody was talking about, I think Marcus, and then they said, and then you can get, uh, they were talking about his covenant and they talked about, uh, uh, who's the range general we were just looking at? Uh, <laughs> who's ever in his covenant? I'm sorry, I can't think of it. It's totally obvious. Um, so I was all excited to get on because I thought that that meant that there were sub generals sub generals in trial of knights and they aren't doing that yet so um not real crazy about the rest of these generals i might take copies if i can because i mean I always take copies if you can I mean, this guy will be good for my senate because I've, I've got oh quite a few copies of him already so that'll help finish him off when i need to do that when i have nothing else to spend blood of airs on um so let's go quick why we talked about it this is the the general set that i'm looking for so this dude's in here, yeah, and Baldwin is in here. So until I get the last guy I need, I hope I can get a couple good pulls. I um, thought there was somebody else I use in here, but I'm not seeing Flavius doesn't excite me. So, um, yeah, I guess there's only two generals that I, I can get. I've been getting a lot of copies of them, though. So I think I got three or four copies of this guy, and I can't get this guy at all. It's like the game knows. It's unbelievable. Um, I think, but you all have him because he was early and maybe it was before I was playing a lot. So um, let's go ahead and do that since we're on. And by that, I mean I'm going to destroy this guy. And uh, always paranoid. Take a four, level 41 guy down. Hmm. wonder if I should build him up a little bit before I take him down. Just because you got to, you, you know, my little jedi mind trick here that isn't mine i copied it from other people have been doing it where you just enhance generals and then de break them down so that you can get as many blood of airs as you can so there's still 180 blood of airs left i don't really think i need to i don't think i'm gonna go to try and place see right now um i am number 10 at 33 I'm not going to push it up to, I mean, I'm not going to push it this time. I think I'm just going to take my, my lumps and uh, I'll get a copy of a general and be done. And I say that now, but who knows if I actually will by next weekend. Because I'm going to get a bunch of Blood of Airs in, in SVS if uh, all things go right. So, back to this. Let's break them down. This is my second copy, just making sure. All right, we are going to take Baldwin to level four. 120 fragments needed. I'll do it. Get her done. This is exciting. Good video. Ooh. One more. I'm not that excited either. It's like a uh, necessary evil. All right. So we added enemy range troop and siege machine attack and defense debuff. So uh, I'll take that. Um, I forget what his specialties are. His, this might be a guy, a candidate for me to, to bump up. Um, that's easier for me to look here. So enemy troop attack debuff for everything. So that... That's kind of cool. Um, and then the specialty for this. Enemy range troop and siege machine attack. 18%. 
enemy range troop and siege machine hp is four so that's very similar that's the final one so that's very similar to the one that we just did where it was 30 so let's add it up uh two four eight twelve so 20 it'll end up being 20 percent enemy range troop and siege machine attack so not quite as good as the 30 that we were getting from uh yawn or whatever his name was um but i'll take it right now that's probably going to cost me oh well over a million gems because i mean i got to do all these too before i can do this one but that would give me another slot that i could uh, throw another orb on as well so that being said, let's just see if I'm forgetting somebody. Six C isn't worth worth it. Um, Baldwin, you know this guy's pretty decent too. Enemy range troop attack is thirty percent. Enemy mounted troop HP is sounds good. Um, <clears throat> what did I get from this guy? Is that who we just talked about? I think we did. I'm not gonna do Harold. I had like. A hard on for this guy in the beginning i got all his copies and i was just all excited to get all this done and then i'm just like i don't know <laughs> i don't know that's a lot of blood of errors to get you know a final enemy troop attack of 10 percent um but i mean yeah not that exciting anymore i could also see breaking him down at some point um even though he's more stars than a lot of my other ones. All right, let's focus here. Um, we looked at him. His final one was not good. It was like mounted or something. Or ground troop. I guess if I start having trouble with ground troop, I could finish that off, but I ain't doing it. I cannot get a second copy of the Nordic to save my life. Um... But let's see if his specialties are any good. Enemy mounted troop attack. Eh. I won't be doing him anytime soon. We looked at him already. Mark Anthony is the one I was trying to come up with before that I forgot. Um, enemy ground troop and mounted troop HP. Enemy range troop attack is 30%. That's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. I don't know that I want to do the second one in case I can actually at some point bump this guy up if i get one more copy i could break down this other guy and uh get him to three stars right now this guy's at no stars so i probably won't invest in him just in case i need to to bust him down at some point uh yeah i don't even know this guy's specialties ground troop yeah i mean obviously he's got to be ground troop because he's a ground troop general and then there's who else I have. I used to use this guy a bit, but uh, now this Janet Carroll. Um, I have some copies on reserve. In fact, I have some Baldwin options there too. I have the chest that you get that in the event that's open right now. It's like the giant's castle thing. Um, you get the chest. Now I got two chests. And I did buy a pack or two because I thought you got a chest on every level 3 and level 4. So I went ballistic before I found out that I wasn't getting chests and it's actually a random drop. So I have a couple of copies of this guy. Um, I've, I've, should I call it two copies? We'll say one copy right now. And then I have the two chests, um, which is odd because... They don't combine these two chests. If you see the here and here, it's the same chest. But I don't have two two of those chests. I have one and one. Anyways, if you use it, I could use Baldwin or I could use Janet. And, uh, you know, Flavius and Darius don't excite me at all. But uh, so I could get two copies there. Wow, 20-minute video. That's great. Uh, I two copies there, and I have a third and a fourth copy uh, in these guys here. Pretty sure. You guys probably already see it. Don't I? Where this is not Janet. I guess I don't have a copy here. 
I must have popped them and cashed them. That's probably where that 30 came from. All right, so I have three copies. So that's enough to take him to two stars. Uh, let's take a look at him. He's easy to get. He's in a lot of events. I shouldn't say easy. You got to spend a little, right, to get these guys. But I've seen him, like, fragments in other events as well. So he's accessible. Pre, uh, freemium, is that what they call that? Mild spending stuff. So it reduces mounted troop attack, which I'm not after right now. An enemy siege machine defense and HP by 30%, which is sexy. Um, at least that's what all the pros tell you in their videos. Is you, the hardest thing to debuff is uh, ground attack and then enemy uh, siege defense and HP. And to buff yours up is important too. So I, I, I guess it's important because that's what they tell me. So anyways, uh, second star would be enemy troop defense, 10% for all flavors, which is okay. Uh, enemy mounted troop attack, 10%. Eh, that doesn't excite me either, you know? So, um, I mean, that's that's not an exciting general. Um, if we keep going down, I guess his four star and his fifth star are okay, you know? But uh, that, that'd be uh, 15 copies you know 10 and 15 copies um i don't think i'm gonna be chasing him anytime so soon so i've had these chests for a while now and i'm not gonna crack them till i know whether i'm gonna go for a baldwin you know i would have to get three more copies of baldwin or three and a half more copies of baldwin in order to get him at the five star but that would be a pretty nice general i see people have them so I think he was in something like Trial of Nights when I before I knew what I was doing in this game. Um, and he probably was more accessible to other people because I see people have a few copies of him all the way up, but I don't. I would be pretty excited to do that. So um, that and, uh, you know, looking back at this guy, I would like to take this up to the Parthenian gear. I have several sets. Do you guys want to know how many sets I have? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> that spear threw me off. So seven copies, um, and there is a big difference. Um, if you look at the set bonus, um, you get another 3% enemy troop attack on every flavor. But uh, let's just look at, like, um, for example... What would be the best one to show here? Let's look at this axe. Um, I'm taking off 48% ground and range HP. 48%. And what it was before we started was 40. So there's another 16% right there, just in the axe. So um, it adds up. If you add up all the differences, it's, it's, it's not chump change. So... Um, but of course, don't do it unless you can do all six at the same time. So you gotta have three hundred of those shields. Um, I did waste a little bit, or waste a little bit. I did spend a few of them on my my attack general. Uh, I don't have it on right now. I've got something else going on there. So that's another video in itself. Um, so that's that. Uh, I did have a request uh, from someone I ran into in the game that. Uh, has a lot more effort put in this game than I do to just kind of go over my seals and what I'm doing with that to get some boosts there. So what I do is I usually find the in-city one. There's one that's in-city, and I'll do that one. This one I did six times, and then I'll do the other four like once or twice. You know, this one I have up to 15, so that's why it's six. I'll at least do it three or, you know, four or five times on the other one. So there's my in-city seal there. I'm getting, you know, 17.5% ground troop attack. And then down here, I'm also getting uh, in-city mounted troop attack on the first one and on the second one because I've taken this thing to level 15. So that gives me in-city ground troop defense, 10%. Eh, not, not that great compared to the first one. Eh, they're equivalent. So you can see I've got that there. And then where's the in-city one here? Um, I didn't even do this one. Marching Siege Machine HP. So that'll be a, a nice cheap one, you know, because the amount of uh, 
crystals that you need go up every time you get to another level. So, um, the in city one here is in city siege machine HP. So I've got you know twenty two percent of that right there, and then this boost here is for in city range troop attack. Sorry, am I a little down today? I feel like I'm, I have less pizzazz. It is a Monday, which is a long work day for me. Lots of meetings and, and whatnot. So, uh, did I take this one to level 20? I did. So that will give me in-city siege machine attack. In-city mounted troop defense. In-city ground troop HP, 10%. And then the in-city stat on this one. I have taken to level 9, and that's in-city mounted troop defense. So it's real tough to keep your mounted troops alive against range, no matter how much you buff them up, it seems. But uh, uh, well, it is what it is. So in-city ground troop attack on this seal, um, in-city mounted troop HP. Then uh, the in-city buff here. This is all stuff you guys can do on your own. Is this a terrible video? In city siege machine attack, twenty eight point eight percent. You know, so there are a lot of stats in these seals. Um, here I got in in city ground troop defense. You can kind of see a theme. I'm targeting ground troop defense and HP, and then gr mounted troop HP and defense because um, that's the I always want to call it the wall, but uh, the first layer of troops. Forget that term i coined it so that i would stop calling it the wall my first layer my front layer i have no idea what i call it but those are the ones that engage and the longer they survive the easier it is for your other troops to kill the uh the enemy so um that was that one uh in city mounted troop attack and just looking for the in city mounted troop defense, nineteen percent. Man, I got a lot of spirit beast. Jeez. Uh, defending range troop attack, ten percent. I don't mind that. Uh, in city ground troop defense. So you can kind of see a theme here on what I'm going for. So this is the new one. That's only level four. And it is in city seed machine HP. How far can we get on this one today? Uh, I'm going to take this one up one more first, and then I'm just going to do one each of the other ones. And I think we got plenty enough to do it. Still have 822 left over. Oh, I need one more. Well, let's do the in city HP just for fun. Now, what did I open up? I didn't even look. In-city ground troop attack. So I got some more ground troop attack. In-city, of course. Now I'm a defensive player. That's what I do. And then in-city siege machine HP, we took up to 19%. So there you go. I haven't, I'm haven't. i not going to make you guys sit through and try to figure out what my next target would be. That wouldn't be exciting for you, right? In-city siege machine HP. <laughs> you know... I will kind of figure out defending Siege Machine defense. I mean, those are kind of the same thing to me. In City Range Troop HP is not excite me. Uh, in City Range Troop defense does not excite me. Uh, I would have to take this one up to level 20 to get In City Range Troop defense does not excite me. Did we go through them all already? Oh, there we go. In City Siege Machine defense. I said you can sense a theme, but the game almost picks a theme for you, huh? All right, so I would do one of the ones that give me uh, in-city siege machine defense or HP, probably this one. And uh, just because he's newer, I, I'm wondering if some of these stats might be better. Mounted troop defense does nothing for me. Marching mounted troop defense, anyways. Marching range troop attack is kind of cool. And you get a lot. I mean, you're getting 3% at these levels. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, we have a half-hour video. Jeez. I don't do quick videos, even though I try. And I'm kind of blabbering again today. So that was that. I don't think there's anything else I want to show you. 
leave a comment if you want to know what that uh, other thing is that I'm up to that uh, kind of excited to show you. I don't know if it'll be too nerdy, um, but uh, it's a way to take on the, the big spoiled brats on your server that are three to ten. Well, for you, I don't know what your server is. For us, if you're three to ten billion, you're not getting attacked. I have a way to kind of annoy them. Let's put it that way. So um, from that, I think we're going to end it. I don't think there's anything else I'm forgetting. Um, I'm sure I have some reports that we can go over next time too. So um, on that note, I am going to sign out, and we'll talk to you next time.